One of the things that I love to do at the end of every year is to take inventory of my life, just from um, the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I like to look at my life and areas that I have grown, areas in that I have stagnated, areas that I've messed up, and just look at how. I, I can change certain things, look at the lessons that I've learned, the mistakes that I have made, and just use this moment to create a, a sort of a vision board to help me move forward and to help me enhance my life, my way of thinking as I move forward in the new year. So today I want to share with you some of these lessons. I hope that you find some of this helpful and maybe you can apply it in your life as well. Before I begin, I want to extend um, happy holidays to everyone. I hope you had a a wonderful Christmas. I hope you spend it with family and friends. And if you spend it alone, I hope you had a wonderful time and you were happy. For me, I was under the weather during the holidays, so I was stuck at home, couldn't really go out and do anything, but um, I'm getting there. I couldn't let the year end without making a video. It's been two weeks now and I feel like I haven't done my job and um, I, I just need to put something out there for you guys. So if you are stumbling on this channel for the first time, I want to say thank you and thank you for stopping by. I hope you like what you see, what you hear, and I hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you for being loyal to my channel. I promise to um, continue and um, make more videos for you in 2022. The first lesson I think I want to share with you is learning to be flexible and adaptable. Sometimes in life we, we create an image of how we want to, our life to be at a certain point, at a certain age, at a certain period, we have this big picture. And sometimes when we don't get there, we beat ourselves up. We think it's the end of the world, but we have to learn to be flexible and adaptable to understand that when we do not get there, it doesn't mean that life is over for us. What we have to learn to do instead is be like a GPS, you know, be like the GPS in your car and learn to navigate and reroute your life. And maybe if you do not get where you plan to get, you can get to somewhere different. But, and guess what? Some, that somewhere different can turn out to be so much more beautiful than what you had in mind. So always keep an open mind, be flexible, and be adaptable so when life happens and when you do not get to the point that you thought you would be at a certain age you don't fall apart good lesson and that i hope you apply to your life because it's helping me a lot in my life learning to be flexible and adaptable many of us just think that you know life will happen it will just happen to us tomorrow I will wake up and I will lose the weight or I will get out of debt or I will get the job that I want but it doesn't work like this guys in life you have to be intentional with everything that you choose to become or choose to be if you want to lose weight you have to be intentional about losing weight you have to start by eating healthy you have to start by probably not going to the gym but maybe simple steps as going for a daily five minute walk ten minutes walk you have to be intentional getting out of debt is not a quick and easy microwave situation you have to be intentional you have to take inventory of your finances you have to look at where can I cut down start making a budget start living below your your means start probably not going to a restaurant as often as you used to. Stop buying so much clothes and material things that you do not need. You have to be intentional. 
um, living our life haphazardly will not get us to the point that we want to be healthy, financially free, in relationships, in everything that you do. Being intentional is crucial. Living in an intentional life is very important and this is a lesson that I have learned in 2021. I have been learning this over the years, but in 2021, it has been so much, so important in my life trying to get to certain goals and I found out that when I'm intentional, I get closer to, to, to the goals that I set and I want to share this with you if this is something if there is something in your life that you want to happen you want to lose get lose weight you want to probably go back to school you want to get out of debt you want to probably um, build an emergency fund you have to be intentional intentional meaning that you make sacrifices that you set goals you make plans so I hope this second um, lesson is applicable for you. I hope you learned something from the second lesson. I hope you apply it in your life. And let's move to the third lesson. So the third lesson, guys, letting go. I have a big problem with letting go and trusting. I always tend to hold life like tightly as if like i'm in control of everything but i'm learning now and i'm learning this year that sometimes you just have to let go and trust i know that getting outside of our comfort zone is the most scariest thing because it's so comfortable to be in a secure place where you are comfortable where you know how everything works but every time we have to stop and step into a new dimension in our life it is always scary but what I have learned in 2021 is that you do not grow when you are comfortable you have to challenge yourself you have to get outside of your comfort zone and stretch yourself in order to grow and I've learned this so much this year moving into a new city where I knew no one being promoted on my job, this was a scary thing for me because to him what is given, what is expected, I had to speak up, I had to learn to speak up, I had to learn to come out of my shell, I had to just do things that I never thought I, I could do. Even starting this YouTube channel was a big challenge for me. I'm an introvert, I always wanted to start a channel but I was scared. But then when you start, the first thing you have to do is just start. And when you start, you just realize, what was I afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of. And what I learned is that when you let go and when you take that initial step, the universe meets you halfway and then you'll be okay. So I hope if there is anything that you want to do, I hope 2022 is the year that you decide to take that initial step, step out of your comfort zone, kick fear in the face and do it. That's the only way you're going to grow, by stepping out of your comfort zone. I have learned a lot of lessons throughout 2021, but I will share my last lesson with you which i think is crucial for me in particular and maybe you who are watching and that is choosing yourself and not feeling guilty about it many times we do not know how to say no we always want to be nice we want to be kind we want to perceive as being the nicest person but choosing yourself is one of the greatest act of self-love you have to learn to choose yourself be full be happy be in a great place before you can be of any kind of help to anyone else so one of the lessons that i have learned in 2021 is learning to say no and learning to choose myself learning to fulfill myself with love and happiness before I can give it out to anyone. 
So choose yourself in 2022. Don't feel guilty about choosing yourself. It is the greatest act of self-love. It is not selfish because it, I find it so ridiculous to always be giving, giving, giving. And at the same time, you falling apart. You have to choose yourself first. So I exhort you in 2022 to choose yourself. Everyone a healthy, happy, and prosperous 2022. I know we have been through very difficult times this year and the year before, and I hope things just work out for the best for all of us. Thank you again and Happy New Year. Unfortunately, I cannot drink because I am not feeling well. I hope you probably you can hear it in my voice still. So thank you and cheers. See you in 2022.